Hi friends, so welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Carla. In today's video, I'm sharing my deep cleaning routine for the living room and also sharing tips with you guys. I completely understand not having the motivation to do some deep cleaning, but if you're here for some motivation to get it done, I hope this helps you and gives you all of the motivation and some tips as well for deep cleaning your home. And if you are new, I would love if you stuck around and subscribe for more videos. I have tons of cleaning videos here on my channel and tons of how-to videos that you may find useful for yourself. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy coffee as much as I do, I have a fun DIY project that I'll be sharing with you. And let's get into these deep cleaning house tips. So from far away, I honestly don't think my living room looks dirty per se, but it actually needed some deep cleaning done. So I just showed you guys the before and the after transformation is really satisfying. Make sure to stay till the end to see that. But first I am just putting the blankets, folding them and the pillows nicely on the couch. That makes a world of a difference when you just do that itself. But with some deep cleaning, I am wiping down the furniture and I'm using the method daily wood cleaner. I love this stuff. It smells amazing. And one of my first tips that I'm sharing with you guys when you're deep cleaning is a move furniture as much as you can some of it I understand it's too heavy or you can't like getting underneath the couches I wanted my husband to do that with me but I was able to move the rest of the furniture around so I can get the baseboards and get that all vacuumed up there was quite a bit of dust bunnies that you cannot see from far away but they are there but I wiped it all up with the method daily wood cleaner because the baseboards are wood so it goes perfectly with wiping down your baseboards and also your furniture After cleaning the baseboards, I realized I needed to clean above first and that is one of my next tip. It is to clean from top to bottom when you remember. I was trying to do that as I went around the living room. I was doing kind of sections at a time because I wanted to do some deep cleaning on it and wanted to get everything really nicely deep cleaned. But when you remember, try to clean from top to bottom because dust sometimes falls off and you'll just be cleaning the bottom when you're done with the top anyway, but I highly recommend cleaning from top to bottom. Now, not everyone has toys in their homes because not everyone has little babies running around. But if you do have some babies or kids around with toys still in the living room, I do recommend decluttering and organizing the toys while you're at it as well. Now, I did not declutter, but I did organize the toys. And then I was able to put some toys that did not belong in the toy section downstairs and place it where it belongs in their home. But it's just nice to organize these toys every once in a while. We typically have our older boys clean the living room every single night. And sometimes they just don't organize the toys like I would. But it's nice to have like a mom touch or a dad touch to organize the toys and have it nicely put together.
If you guys have been here for a while, you definitely know that I love my iced coffee and I love using these Starbucks cups to make an ice cold coffee. And I'm sharing with you how you can make your own DIY Starbucks coffee cup. This turned out so cute. And by using my Cricut Joy machine, I made this Starbucks DIY decal. It was so fun to create and, and my wheels are turning for a business for creating these type of cups. Like seriously, so fun. So I did create this decal with the Cricut Design Space on my computer and I used a tutorial. I will link that tutorial down below. But the process to cut the decal is all displayed here on the screen as you see. Really simple. I did start off by making the round decal because I wanted two different colors. And then I did my name Carla in a different color. So that's what you're seeing here. And I did use the Smart Vinyl Permanent Vinyl vinyl so I did not have to use the backing for it so you just put it in your machine and it cuts right there you don't need the mat for this and the really neat concept behind the Starbucks cups is that you can make money by selling your own products and creating custom merchandise so like I said I know many people start their small business by creating cups and you can really get creative with these and get really personalized people are always looking for items items to gift, whether it's for teachers, friends, or family. So creating a small business while creating these decals with your Cricut machine can seriously make you some money. I personally know a friend of mine that does these cups and they are just beautiful. And not only can you create cups, you can create t-shirts or even personalized items like bows but really there are endless options for creating a personalized merchandise and nowadays you can find pretty much every tutorial you can either find it on youtube on also the Cricut website as well so if you're looking to start your own small business, definitely check out Cricut. They have many variations from the Cricut Joy to the Cricut Explore Air. And really you can go as simple to as extravagant as your heart desires. I will have some links down below so you can check out Cricut, get your own supplies, get your own Cricut. I love this Cricut Joy. It is so small and just perfect for getting out when you have a smaller space like I do. And maybe one day I'll be able to place out my bigger Cricut machine to create more fun cups. So honored to be working with Cricut once again. I have a video that I teamed up with them before. I will have it linked and down below in the description. You can go check it out as well. And thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So as you see, in order to prep the cup, I did use the alcohol pads to clean it. And that way the vinyl will stick to the cup really well. And I'm just using my Cricut transfer tape to place it on top of the decal. And then I can transfer it over to the cup. Now, centering this part to the cup was probably one of the most tedious things. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect and even. But after a little while, I was able to get it and it was even. If you have a Cricut product, I would love to know down below in the comments what you like to make with your Cricut. I think crafting is just so much fun. It's a definitely one of my past hobbies and this was just such a fun project for me. I really love how this turned out and really considering making cups in the future. If you are interested, let me know down below if you guys would be down for that or if like you don't really care, that's totally fine too. But overall, this was just right down my alley and I just really enjoyed it. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I've failed So can we work it out? Only time will tell
Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know why you floss, at least they say something. Still, I try to connect with you through your eyes. Your eyes. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a I still want all of you and I know all your colors And I guess cause of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost if you're anything like me, you love your faux plants, so your fake plants. So don't forget to clean those faux plants and make sure to show them some love. I know I forget this quite often, so I wanted to give you this a little reminder. Don't forget about those fake plants and give them a nice clean. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a Cause we're been through hell. I can't So I'm showing you this wash rag because honestly my living room appears to be clean but like I said it really wasn't. There was dust accumulated and this just shows you that it needed a good deep cleaning. Another of my tips that I learned from Elizabeth from Elizabeth DePetta. She is a sweet friend of mine, but she always reminds us to do slow vacuuming. And when I'm deep cleaning, I definitely like to slow vacuum. That just helps with picking up the dust and getting every little of those little pieces up and getting it super duper clean. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out, yeah Only time will tell Ooh, only time will tell Ooh, tell Ooh. And this is real life. My office was a disaster, but that mess was for another time and another day. Just wanted to share with you guys that just because of one area is nice and beautiful and clean doesn't mean the rest of my house is in shambles. You get everybody staring for days. All the sea is just a young, pretty face. But I'm trying to get to know you much better. Don't matter how much time. My next tip is to use the Tide powder detergents in your mopping water. If you haven't tried this yet, it is a great method for mopping and really disinfecting and cleaning the floors really well. You want to use really, really hot water and that way the Tide powder detergent can dissolve really well and get your floors really nice. It does not leave a film and just honestly smells amazing and it leaves your floors really clean. I love to do this for some deep cleaning in my home.
And now I'm just sharing the afters of this living room deep cleaning. I hope you guys enjoyed these deep cleaning of my living room tips and got some motivation out of this. Let me know down below if you learned something or if you're going to apply any of these to your deep cleaning. I so appreciate you and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, especially if you made it till the end and subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you stick around. And again, just thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. Video. Bye.